Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In today's episode, we're going to be removing the crankshaft from our Fordson Super Dexter engine. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and this episode is sponsored by AMARC UK Limited. Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair. So previous episode, we removed the pistons off the, off the crankshaft, sort of knocked them out of the bottom. So in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is removing the crankshaft and we'll just have a look and see where any wear patterns and bits and pieces on that as well. We've got four main cap holder or crankshaft bearing cap holders. So one, two, three, four. They're all numbered again. All right. The only two you could get the wrong way around would be sort of two and three. All right, but let's say they're, they're numbered from number one, always at the front of the engine. What have we got on here? We have some lock tabs on here. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna knock all, knock all those over and then what we'll do, we'll remove that and then we'll have a quick look as well. Go around and just knock these tabs down. I am 90% sure this, this engine has never been apart. All right, looking at these lock tabs, so. Bend them back. Let's get this side. There we go. That's all those off. We'll lie them on the bench and we'll have a have a quick look. Sometimes they can be a bit sticky just because of all the oil and gunge over the years. And Oh yeah, out right, it comes. Okay, all right, so that was number, number three out, number two out. Right. There we go. Number two out. A little bit quicker. There we go, right there. Now we're going to take number four out. So what we're going to have in here are the thrust washers in the end to stop that movement of the crankshaft or reduce it down. So let's take, I'll just put my dirty old fingers over it. But there you go, that's number four. Little thrust washer here. Just get that out of the way. That's everything out. So what we'll do, they're not the heaviest. Crankshaft in the world. Just gonna lay that over here. Here's the crankshaft. We've got that out. All right. So here, you the mains. There, 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 and there. there, there there's a little mark in it, even on the con rods, a little ends. All right. They're not. That's not too bad. There's a few more marks on number three, and obviously down the far end. But what I said in the previous episode is I'll give everything a wash. Then we can have a have a proper look at it. So that's the crankshaft. So what I'll do is just lift this over the back, and we'll just have a quick look at the caps for the crankshaft. We can see in there. There's a few little wear scuff marks in there. Probably just where it's picked dirt and muck up over the years, but not not that bad at all, really. So let's just see if I can pop this out. There we go. Not too much to see on there. I would say probably. The original ones again, but held up for a long, a long time. Those ones. So let's have a look. That's number one. Let's have a quick look at number two, which I'm pretty sure is just going to be pretty, pretty normal. Sort of same as the other one. Yeah. So we can sort of see as a few wear, wear marks in that again. All right. So that's that's number four. And we'll just have a quick look at. The thrust. All right, so that's your thrust washers. The silver side against the engine, and then the copper side goes towards the the crankshaft where it's actually going to be turning on. All right, you got little oil grooves in there. There we are. That's that's everything out. I'll get the the block away to have the new liners fitted, and obviously he's got a big 
hot water bath that these can go in and really sort of clean them all out and get all these always nice and clean so we've got none of this black gunge and stuff left in there for when we start rebuilding it. That's it for this episode. All right, another little short one. What I'm gonna do now is I'll get everything cleaned and washed. So then what we'll do, it's, it's gonna be another week before I can get this away to the chap who does my engine. So in the meantime, what we'll do, we'll do another little video. And what I'll do is I'll clean all the parts up and we'll get them on the bench and we'll have a look at how worn they are and bits and pieces. All right, so we can sort of see if we can identify anything once it's been cleaned up. I hope you enjoyed the episodes so far. All right, so pulling this pulling this engine apart. There's not a lot to these little um, Perkins engine. They're nice little compact little engine. Same thing again. Hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you next time.